I'm Sigrid Vizi, and um, I, I'm a, a professor of medicine here at Penn, and my research involves neural injury and sleep disorders. Most people have gone through some periods in their lives where they've pulled all-nighters, late-nighters, have done shift work or something uh, that has prevented them from being able to get a good night's sleep. When I say a good night's sleep, I mean at least seven hours of sleep. Three different studies in humans show that if you restrict sleep across the week to either three, five, or seven hours, that performance in a very specific attention task falls off dramatically on a linear response according to how many days you did this. So we've started looking at that using a mouse model, sort of setting them up like shift workers or late night college students or whatever. They're young adult uh, mice and really starting to look at the pattern. And remarkably, we find that there is a significant loss of the locus ruleus neurons. The neurons that remain have an injury to the mitochondria. And um, remarkably, we also find that they have almost many of the features of Alzheimer's sort of right within that nucleus. So we see elevated levels of amyloid beta. We see tau with phosphorylation changes and acetylation changes that you would see in advanced Alzheimer's. And we see a microglial inflammatory response. And so the work in our lab is sort of directed towards how much sleep loss would you need to induce a picture that's closer to Alzheimer's. Can this happen in normal individuals? What are the precipitating factors and how, of course, can we prevent it? Because we will always live in one of these 24-7 societies.